Hey, what's up and welcome to this demonstration of the Witcher Math Laboratory. Remember back in school, everything with Delphi three-dimensional space was studied in 2D. For example, you had your coordinate system with all the three axes and some geometry drawn on the board or written in the book in front of you. Well, this is probably not the best way to distribute a sense for how geometry behaves or is located in three-dimensional space. This is where the Virtual Math Laboratory comes in. With the help of the head-mounted display Oculus Rift, we can deliver a much closer experience to geometry in three-dimensional space, like how a plane intersects a sphere. So now let's dive into the features of this application. All right, we've got our huge coordinate system over here and we've got three tools in order to interact with the coordinate system. At first, there's a geometry unit, which allows us to create, save, load and modify geometry. This application supports points, lines, spheres and planes. Then there is the computing unit which computes all the matters of linear algebra, for example, intersections. Then there is a visualization unit, which enhances the appearance of geometry or the coordinate system to our desire. Okay, let's get started and create a point. Just type in some data, see what the result is. We've got a point at one, two, and zero. Red is the x-axis, the y-axis is colored green and blue is the z-axis. Okay, time to add another point. We'll probably put it over here and change still the x value. Okay, now we've got a second point over here. Let's see what we can do with these two points using our computing unit. And we can select the geometry which we want to compute. Go ahead, move on and see what we can do. It's the distance which we can check and compute. And we can use these two points in order to create a line which has this parametric equation. So like it is supposed, this line strikes through these two points. Okay, time for a different example. Let's load two lines which should intersect each other and see what the computing unit is capable of doing with these two lines. We can check for the intersection and the computing unit says that there is an intersection point at 3 to 2. We can check also if it is orth orthogonal or perpendicular as if, if it is, these lines are parallel to each other and we could create a plane if there is an intersection point. Okay, let's create the intersection point. We can actually see where this is. That's three on the x-axis and two on the z and y-axis. And we can go ahead and create the plane. Okay, let's get rid of these, of the lines, of the point, and let's keep working with this plane and add a sphere. Uh, probably 0, 1, uh, 0.5, 0, which should be K, okay. and how about if we use this as a radius? All right, now we can see that the sphere which you just created is intersecting this plane. Oh, we could probably enhance the visualization by giving the sphere a different color. Probably can just make it, oh, how about gray? And we could actually go ahead and make our plane a little bigger. 
Okay, now let's move on to the computing unit. Select both of our geometry and check if there is a touch point, like if the sphere just touches the plane, that would return only a single point. And then we can check for an intersection circle, which is located at 1.25 and 0 0.25. And the radius is about 1.76. Now you can see what this intersection circle really looks like, where it is located. And we can get really a sense how this really behaves in our coordinate system. Okay, for the sake of more demonstrations, I'm gonna load some more examples like this line just touching the sphere, which we can check with our computing unit. And we see the section point is supposed to be at 7, 4, 6. And our last example for now is gonna be a sphere intersecting a line. And it should be two points computed for this matter. Right. Now we can see a negative 4, 2, 4 is the first point and the second one is a 2, 4, 4. So this is all for now about the video map laboratory. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy this application.